Hey, psych uh, kiddos, Mr. Walls, we're here. Um, hope everything's going well. How about that uh, Harlow's monkey experiment, 1950s? Um, pretty interesting. The question of um, Maslow's hierarchy certainly comes up when we when we take a look at Harlow, because uh, quite clearly the monkey prioritizes the um, love need over the food need. Um, but it, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't um, disqualify Maslow's uh, hierarchy and the ideas of Maslow's hierarchy from um, being used. It just shows us that there are elements within our psyche that will often prioritize things like love over your basic physiological needs, like eating, like sleeping. Anybody who's, um, who's ever had their heart broken, uh, I don't know why you're looking at me. I, I've never had my heart broken. Um, just kidding. The, the, we've all had our heart ripped out and stomped on at some point. Maybe you haven't yet because you're so young. But uh, anybody who's ever been through something like that, you realize that those love and belonging um, needs uh, take, even self-esteem needs, uh, will often take precedence over um, those ba very basic physiological needs. So it's, it's interesting. Harlow's uh, interesting. His experiment's pretty interesting. It's pretty funny. The, the, uh, it's a great video because you're able to really see exactly his, his entire setup. And going forward, where we're at right now, most of the stuff that we have is um, readily available on video. Um, anyway, uh, so, so we've kind of finished the whole uh, lifespan human development uh, part of the class. So um, we're, kind of, we're going to move into, I'm going to do a little bit of the like biological basis of behavior because, um, well, we're moving into behavior, okay? um, motivation and emotion, I'm, I'm sorry. And um, so there's going to be some biology and I, I have a really, really good drawing today for you. Um, that I'll have you screenshot a little later. So um, we're moving into that motivation and emotion chapter. And uh, a lot of motivation and emotion we've, we've kind of discussed um, we, when we were talking about things like behaviorism. And um, you, you really have, there's really two parts of, of motivation and emotion. You're kind of a servant to social norms and um, enforcers, and you're uh, also a servant to these biological impulses. And the biological impulses, now we're getting into stuff that's a, a little more complex. Now, if you go back to something, say, like uh, Thorndike with his cat, okay, we go back to to Edward Thorndike, and we we take this cat, and we um, the cat's hungry. Hunger is a primary motivator. Okay, um, there's a massive biological. Um, you know, your insulin levels are changing, um, dropping, and so you eat to elevate blood sugar. But we'll get into that. That's the, the biological. But um, the cat consciously just wants to eat that fish, okay? So the cat learns behaviors, he stacks behaviors that enable him or her to get the fish. So we do a lot of learning that way, you know, with, uh, and just to, just to, you know, reiterate there, there's Positive reinforcers, there's negative reinforcers, which are actually sort of positive because uh, I know it, it, a negative reinforcer is not a punisher. Rem remember that. And if you'd never 
heard it or weren't paying attention. A negative reinforcer is actually the removal of something negative. Um, a punisher is that electric shock. That's a punisher. A negative reinforcer is we're going to take this. You are um, uh, you want to turn off your alarm in the morning that that ends the misery of that alarm. I know most of you, most of you haven't heard an alarm in a long time. Uh, I know I haven't. My, speaking of which, this is psychology. We'll get into this when we get into altered states of consciousness, but my circadian cycle, which is my sleep cycle, has gotten so whacked out that if we do go back to school, which, mm, praying we go back to school, if, if and when we go back to school, I, I don't know how I'm going to get up at six. I'm kind of going to bed at like four. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I'm, I'm reading and then I'm watching old um, cycling races. And then I fall asleep for about three to four hours. Then I wake up and, and kind of uh, read again. And then I fall asleep till like 10, 10 30. Like everything is whacked out. So um sorry to ramble, but I mean, what else? You know, some what else is new? So anyway, um the 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 fact is that uh oh get let's get back to the alarm. The fact is that you have an alarm that goes off. That and you when you turn that alarm off, uh, that that's a negative reinforcer because you're removing the negative element. A punisher is, remember, the electric shock, and a positive is something good comes of, you know, hey, I press a button and a uh, pellet comes out. So th there's, th these are grounded in biology, and, and that's what we're going to start to learn about. Um, we're going to start to take a look at what is happening on a biological level? And the, we're not going crazy with biology here. We're just going to show you some pretty basic stuff. And the mo, you know, I'll show you the components of the brain in the next uh, section and tell you what parts of the brain are responsible for what. And today I'm going to show you a neuron okay, that I drew personally. Okay, now get ready for a screenshot. Okay, um, because. You'll never find as good a representation of a neuron as that. Do we, do we see that? Is everybody good? I'm still here. Um, looks like it's backwards on mine, but uh, get yourself a screenshot. Throw that screenshot up in the uh, upper left corner. Or just pull one up on uh, on on uh, Google. Uh, just type in neuron um, on Google, and uh, you're all good. So, um, essentially, look, we have 86 something billion of these in our in our brain, or in our in yeah, I guess in our in our brain. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, not that we really are that aware, um, but that's a pretty good estimation. Okay? Um, these are the basic units of our nervous system, these things. Okay? These things are the basic units of our nervous system. And um, they work, they, they work pretty, it's, a, it's such an incredible system. You know, we're a religious school. And it's, 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 it, it, uh, does that surprise? I'm, duh. Um, but we're a religious school. And the beauty uh, and intricacy by which these, like just something as complex or simple as a, as these, as a neuron, you got 86 billion of these things. They're kind of connected, but they're not connected. There's, they, they have uh, this sort of little synaptic, it's called synaptic space in between these cells. And the synaptic space is, the, is um, where one nerve talks to another nerve via electrical or chemical impulses. And it's just fascinating. And it lends credence to the idea of 
a this you know a, a beautiful creator um, that knew everything. Anyway, there's just a little theology for you. Um, so uh, in, if you look at your chart, if you bring it up on your phone, you'll see these uh, dendrites. Okay, these little dendrite things. Oh God, I'm trying to <laughs> these little dendrite things. Okay. Uh, that are attached to the cell body. The cell body has this nucleus here. Okay, so you have these dendrites and they are attached to the cell body. Okay? And these dendrites receive messages from other cells. Okay? So whenever you encounter something, um, uh, sorry, I was checking to see if I had a booger hanging off my face because I did just work out. Um, you know, whenever something happens, you know, you touch something hot, instantaneously, this communication system is, bam, ready to go. So the dendrite here, okay, is receiving messages from, you know, other cells, okay? This is the cell nucleus, which is the, you know, in the cell body. This is sort of the, this is the heart and soul of the uh, neuron, Okay, if you take a look here, this little axon, well, which is essentially from here all the way to here, okay, this is the message, the, the cell, the message comes in here, okay, and it flies down this thing called an axon, okay, uh, those are neural impulses that are electrical signals that travel down the axon, okay? And this determines something called a cell's action potential, okay? Um, and what that is doing is it's, it's kind of prepping the cell. The action potential is what needs to be communicated instantaneously. And by the way, this is happening at speeds that are ridiculous. Oh, and by the way, part of the reason that th this, the, the cell actually has this thing called these myelin, it's myelin, and that's a myelin sheath around the axon there, okay? And that myelin sheath um, accelerates. Um, what it does is it, it, it takes the neural impulse and it accelerates it. Um, based on how much action potential is necessary, okay? I'm, I'm doing a, my little man just ran in. Um, little butters in the house, um, running around outside. Anyway, so your neural impulse travels down this. It is accelerated by the myelin sheath, okay? Uh, by the way, this here, if you've ever heard of something like, um, I think it's MS, uh, multiple sclerosis, um, Oh, there's a little butter in front of me. Um, I, I think it's MS. I'm sorry. Um, MS is a is a breakdown or a hardening of that myelin, so the um, the nervous system starts to kind of um, go go haywire. Um, yeah, I know that's it's bizarre. Um, yeah, th th this is a complex mechanism. You know, one of the things I used to try and we take so much for granted that it's going to work, you know, like, especially like w once I started working on an on automobile, uh, I bought a 1970 Chevelle and I started working on the thing, um, you know, taking it apart, tinkering, trying to um, build the parts of the engine to make it faster and stuff. And once you start taking stuff apart on an automobile, you realize how, like, once you sit in that seat and you turn that that um, ignition key, you, you're you so excited if it starts up because you realize there's like a billion things going on to make it work. That's, that's the way human biology is. And our psychology is so biology based. Well, I mean, duh, every, you know, everything's biology. -based. But like there, all of the new uh, neuropsychology is about the manipulation of this communication system, okay? And um, 
that's one of the reasons why I have to give you this kind of talk about like some of the biology, because in order for you to understand um, something like an agonist, when we get to altered states of consciousness and we're talking about um, drugs that are agonists, an agonist is a drug that goes in and poses as something that the body readily uses and then it goes in uh, and starts releasing neurotransmitters. Um, and then those neurotransmitters bond with other neurons. So that's why we're kind of going through all this. So anyway, um, this is part one of the biology. Here's another, I'm gonna hold this up again in case you need it. What, like, honestly, you can take a screenshot of it, but it's, you know, there's a, a million, places you can look at one of these and um and it's just something i want you to kind of know so when we're talking about biology and when we're talking about um biological basis of behavior you kind of under you can kind of picture this process that's occurring okay anyway uh i'm gonna end there um i hope everything's good i hope the family's safe uh be careful Take care of yourselves. I'll pop back up probably on Wednesday with something about the brain. Uh, and we'll go through the lobes of the brain. I'll make sure I do another incredible drawing for you. Um, but uh, until then, um, just relax. Your homework was to watch this amazing video. And then on Wednesday, after I'm done, I'll assign another article. Please get your articles in so I can give you full credit. Some of you have done amazing jobs. I'm not going to call anybody out because they've done amazing, you know, there's certain people that I pick on because they do such amazing jobs with their articles, but um, just keep fighting the good fight. Uh, I'm here with you and uh, I love you and I'm hoping to get back to school soon.